Hey guys, welcome back to my sewing room. In today's video, I'll be sewing McCall's M7866 in view C. And excuse the lack of Mom That Sews drafted pattern videos. The reason why I'm sewing uh, these patterns is because I need quick projects in between all of my larger projects. Um, and I'm also moving in the process of moving next week. So um, all of my stuff is just all over the place. But what the fittest dress looks like, and it's sewn in a stretch satin that I got from Joann's as per usual. And I also put some cups in there, which I didn't show how to put the cups in the video. But without further ado, since I've been talking for long enough, let's get to the video. Okay, so I've got all of my pieces cut out here and I've made some major, major alterations to my pattern piece. Um, basically what I did, I think it'll be easier if I show you here. So for my, um, bodice, I've raised my waistline by an inch. I've taken in my side seam a bit. I moved my shoulder back. Um, this part here was pretty gaping. So what I did was I pinched in a dart here and I pinched in a dart over here and then I just um, moved my dart to my waist and made a princess seam. I know this is super complicated guys. Um, I actually filmed a whole video on how I did this and it's over on my Patreon. So if you guys are interested in um, supporting me over there, the full video on how I altered this pattern is uploaded over there. And I'll leave my Patreon below in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check out. So that has left me with these pieces now. So I just have um, two front bodice pieces instead of one whole one. And then I've also taken in my waist. So I've just redrafted um, my facings to match the new waistline of my skirt. So I believe the first step would be to ease my side seam, do some ease stitching on my side seam. But since I've added princess seams, my first step is going to be to sew my princess seams. So I have my center front here and it looks weird here because I had a dart that I moved to my waist. So this looks like this, but it will be a straight center front once everything is sewn. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew my princess seams. I'm, I'm going to just do my lining and my outer layer at the same time, just the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew the princess seams and then I'll show you what it looks like when that's finished. Okay, so I've got my um, bodice pieces, my front bodice and I've got the lining ones too. So I'm going to iron them now. And don't forget to do your pressing hem because we're gonna be pressing a pretty severe curve here. And I will be coming out with Mom That Sews pressing hems um, pretty soon here, so stay tuned for those. And I'm just going to, this is a rear camera angle here. I'm just gonna go ahead and press all of my seams open and then I'll meet you back over at my sewing table when I'm finished. Okay, so now we're gonna actually follow the directions that come in the packet. So I'm going to do some ease stitching between the notch and the large dot. I want to do that on both sides as well as on the lining. Now that I've done that, now it's time to close up a portion of the center front seam. So I'm going to place the front pieces right sides together and I'm going to pin them. And I'm going to pin down to, I think it's like a small dot here, and I'm going to sew that. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing on my lining as well. I'm going to do the lining and the face at the same time just to keep this um, flowing so I can get this dress done quickly. Now that I have that sewn, I'm going to press that seam open and press the rest of the seam allowance back that 5 eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to baste it down. That's what the instructions tell you to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and not be lazy and baste it down. And I'm also going to do this for my lining pieces as well.
Okay, so now it's time to sew my side seams and I'm going to place the back right sides together onto the front and I'm going to pin down to the first notch that we have and then I'm going to leave the rest of that open and I'm going to pin at the bottom of the seam and then I'm going to pull my ease stitching so that my front is even with my back and then obviously you want to distribute that easing um, so that it's not like puckering up on you when you sew. And I'm going to do that for both side seams as well as my lining side seam. Okay, so now that I have that sewn, I've also turned up that seam allowance at the side seam and I've basted it down the same way that we did the front. Now it's time to attach the lining to the outer layer. So I'm going to start at the center front seam and I'm going to place a pin there. And then I'm going to pin up to my, I think it's like a small dot, and then leave that part open and then start from the large dot on the other side and pin the whole armhole and then stop at the dot I'll show you guys in a second if I haven't confused you already so this is what it looks like when it's all pinned and obviously if you have this pattern you want to follow the instructions so that you're not as confused as I was just explaining that to you so now I'm going to sew that together with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and then obviously when you're when you're getting ready to turn this right side out you want to clip your curves and your corners and everything to make sure everything turns out nice and smooth. And this is what it looks like once I turn it out. I can't remember if I pressed it or not. I probably did. Now the instructions tell you to go ahead and close out that center front seam. So what I'm going to do is match that center front line on both my lining and my face. And I'm going to place pins all the way up and down my center front seam and then they want you to go ahead and slip stitch this closed now in hindsight since we have still an opening at the um at the bottom i probably would have done this by machine and it felt a lot more comfortable and then just done this side piece like this um with the slip stitch but i followed the directions to the t so i'm just going to go ahead and do it how they tell me to do it but here I'm just pinning the opening that was at the side as well. So it kind of looks like this. Now I'm going to take a needle and thread and do a quick slip stitch to secure this down um, to make sure that it doesn't kind of open up. So you want to make sure that you're um, taking your time when you're slip stitching this. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished. Now it's time to sew the most annoying shoulder seam that I've ever sewn in my life. Um, but here we go. So pretty much what you want to do is open up um, your shoulder area that you left open and then you want to pin at the seam that you have and then you want to finagle it so that you can get it right sides together and just pin it so that it's, yeah, it's annoying. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, it does work out and you want to sew that together with a five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now it's time to sew the skirt. So I have my two front pieces here and there at your large dot, you want to, um, they said use some seam binding, but what I did is just cut a couple rectangles and I sewed those down within the seam allowance. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to place the right sides together and I'm going to pin uh, first starting at my large dots and then I'm going to pin upwards to create our center front seam and I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew that with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance leaving all of the center front seam below that large dot open okay now that we've done that they the way they wanted me to finish it was they wanted me to stitch a seam uh, stitch the seam and then uh, stitch it again within the seam allowance and trim that down so that's what I did and I pressed it over to one side okay so now I have my back pieces here my back skirt pieces I'm just going to pin down my center back seam and sew that seam with 5 8 of an inch seam allowance you want to do the same kind of finishing that we did in the front so you sew your 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and then you sew another line of stitching within the seam allowance and then press it over to one side and that's what it looks like here this is my back now I'm placing my front to back right sides together and I'm going to go ahead and sew my side seams the same way so like I said, you sew the one seam, sew another seam within the seam allowance, and then you uh, trim down your seam allowance. And I also decided to place a zipper in here because my fabric didn't stretch as much as um, the instructions wanted the fabric to, I guess. Anyway, now I am um, placing my bodice onto my skirt, matching my dots, 
and my seams here. So I'm just going to do that on both sides. And then I like to use my thumb as a measuring tool. I know that's not super professional, right? But my thumb always keeps everything even. And I call it like, you know, using your a thumbs width. So I like to use my thumb to make sure that um, my front bodice pieces are equal distance from the center front. So that's what I did. And I just pinned all the way around, make sure the side seams are matching here match the dots at the back, and then I sewed this with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. All right, we're almost done here. I have my waistline seam sewn. Now it's time to finish off the waistline with our facings. So I have my facing pieces here, and I'm going to sew them, uh, sew the side seams of them. Obviously, you want to put them right side together and sew the side seams and press those seams open. Now the pattern wants you to finish off the edge here. And if I had a serger at this point, I would have searched it, but I didn't. So what I did was I sewed uh, a line of stitching here and then I trimmed or I pinked um, my seam or my edge down to that line. And then I turned it up and just sewed it down um, like a regular hem here. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, if I had a serger, it would have been a flatter finish, but I didn't have one at the time. Now I am going to place my um, facing onto the seam allowance of my waistline seam. And I'm going to match my side seams and all of my dots to make sure that everything's lining up how it's supposed to. And I'm also going to sew this with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. And you know what? I don't use facings a lot in my bridal sewing, but sewing this really wants, uh, really makes me want to um, use, uh, to work with facings more often. So that's going to be something that I try to incorporate, incorporate into my uh, sewing uh, in the future. All right, so our facing is all done and I've tacked it down to our zipper tape as well as our side seams so, that's, so that it's not flapping up on us. Now I'm going to do a rolled hem to finish off our bottom. And once you do that, you're all done. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you more than you know, and I'll see you guys in my next one.